Hey, this is the Third World Server, and today we're going to be looking at Mirgco, a store built by myself, along just west of the road out of spawn. And it connects right on the uh, intersection between the Great West Road and the Great South Road, which is not as great as the West Road. I sort of wanted to make billboard lights. They're pretty big because... Well, obviously, for the letters to be legible, they have to use that size blocks, but whatever. I couldn't really fit the co part. At least not without having to redo it, and I didn't want to redo it. But inside Mirk Co. is a bunch of player signs shops that uh, I've set up. Uh, to the left here is wool. To the right here is stained glass. And at the very back is a bunch of stained clay. Uh, there's uh, two double, ch uh, a, no, just one double chest worth of each variant here. It took me about three weeks to get all the all the materials for all these different colors. There's going to be more stuff to add to the the shop, but Mainly, the main thing I wanted to add was like the the uh, the colored blocks. And it looks like it's sold a bunch of red already, uh, and some cayenne. Sold some diamonds. I know I sell diamonds, leather, uh, gold ingots, and iron ingots. I don't think anyone's buying these stained glass. But the prices are based on how difficult it was to get the dyes. Like the most expensive block is going to be the magenta glass. Because magenta requires uh, purple, which requires blue, which requires lapis. So it requires lapis and a bunch of red dye and some... Uh, Pink dye, it just requires a ton of dyes, and it took me forever, and that's why it's the most expensive. But right outside, on the corner here of this intersection, is some public stables. But the difference between these stables and the ones in spawn is players can go ahead and claim one each of these to use as they see fit, like a permanent private stable. And the location, I decided because the main point of uh, travel by foot or by horse, whatever, having a difficult time speaking right now, uh, is right here. So people are going to go either west or south. There's a lot of people that go north. Well, not a lot, but there's about 50% of people go north or east, but there isn't a main road there. And this is the most easily, easily traversed route. Oh, that was a mouthful, but anyways, so this seemed the most ideal location to build a stables, and there's enough for, there should be enough for everyone. Uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 28, 42 stalls available. That should be enough for now. I'll definitely have to add more eventually, and I guess I'll just clear out this area over here. So it's going to, I guess it'll eventually be some big complex, and if it still gets all f filled up and stuff, I can, uh, I can add like a second story kind of thing going on, but right now it's not established for that. does not look the best uh, as I would like to finish. I would like to add some stuff to the side here, but I've been having, the server has been having... Uh, stability issues really bad the last couple of days and for whatever reason like I get kicked a lot so I'm personally like you can't spend very long on the server in my experience some people aren't having issues like other people are able to log on when there's a bunch of other people but for me for whatever reason I get kicked as soon as more than one other person joins the server so and if there is one person on the server, and I've got about five minutes before it does this to me, so I better go show the one last thing, is about tw every 20 minutes I get kicked. 
pretty annoying, pretty annoying to build, so I'm not going to be playing a whole bunch while the server is still unstable. Still waiting on Craft Bucket. They, they've been pumping out developers' builds, but they, they really don't help. And, in fact, I think the most recent developers' build I installed today actually made it kind of worse, which is why like I'm getting kicked way more. But the other new building, and it's not really new new, it's been up for like two weeks, but I never made a video because there wasn't enough stuff to make a video about. But these are some public beds over here in these three new trees that spawn, and they're meant to be sort of hotels. I'm going to rework the building here, and I'm just getting lag because of the tree is loading in. Some initial first spawn tree lag. But anyways, each tree has four beds, which is just two rooms with two beds in them. I'm going to rework this because I got lazy while I was building this and I had uh, something more fancy in mind. Like with like some kind of... I want to build rope bridges between the trees rather than just like branches in between them. I'm just going to fly here. That's annoying. Huh, I get, did not really, really did not like that spot right over there. But anyways, all the all the rooms are the same, but uh, also I don't think I don't remember if I mentioned that there was a graveyard. And that's just a random building that us someone built. I'm not gonna tear it down right now, but eventually it will need to leave. But this is the graveyard where banned players, you can see what players have been banned, and inside there's a book. For the reason I hope I didn't already do a video about this. But you can see the, you can read the reason here. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Oh, one last thing. If you're trying to kill squids, this, this lake around spawn is a pretty good place to do it. Otherwise, you have to do it in the ocean or whatever, and it takes forever. See ya.